The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growl and a prowl with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 137. You get the Nasdaq down 74. S&P's flat. Gold contract down three dollars and ninety cents, trading at twelve twenty-seven ninety an ounce. We have silver down six cents, fifteen dollars fifty-two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, sixty-nine dollars eighteen cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note down six. Ticks, 143.07, 30 year off four ticks, 119.60.16. King dollars up 190, 171 ticks at 94.300. The euro is at 116.78 to one US dollar. Yen is at 111 to you, one US dollar. And Facebook is toasted and roasted. Not a good 12, 24 hours for Facebook shareholders. Quite a number, man. Quite a number. And we'll see uh, out here today, we're going to have the Amazon numbers after the close. We'll see if Amazon can save the NDX 100. I don't think they can hurt it in the likes of Facebook. We're not going to, I mean, that's just a $100 billion market cap haircut, right? You wake it's, up one it, day, company's worth one amount. You wake up the next day, it's worth $100 billion less. Isn't that than intense, man? Yeah, it really is it intense. Is. Unbelievable. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, as we do each and every day to buy and dissect this market to look at option strategies. Kevin and his team, they got a great program, Fast Market, every trading day right here, folks, 11 to 12, and we are in the thick of earnings. There's no two ways about it. Remember that uh, you can get this program right on your cell phone. Just go to tfnn.com. If you haven't test-driven yet, the TD platform, it's an outstanding platform. The way you do it, come to our website at TFNN. Hit the banner on the top or the side, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money, and you can follow along with Kevin and his team. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Another day, another story in earnings season, and today is Facebook. I'll tell you, this is one of the more interesting stories, though, that I recall in recent earnings because it almost feels like they're physically ramping down expectations for themselves. With the market, yeah, right. So I mean, uh, obviously the you know the general data protection regulation, the GDPR. You're going to be hearing that name a lot uh, lately, is affecting Facebook going forward, right? But Mark Zuckerberg saying the quote: "We're investing so much in security that it it will affect profitability," and you know these are things that cause investors to pause just slightly. Sure. In terms of Facebook, and you know, the the revenue growth rate, to, you know, decelerating by seven percent. These are all things that investors don't like. We talked about it all the time, Tom and Tommy, about guidance, right? And the guidance here was uh, something less than stellar. Oh, that's the nicest way I can put that. Yeah. Well, you know, it's intriguing, Kevin. Is that I know? I mean, you're a great fundamental guy, and you can throw charts out the window. I know that. But since I'm a chart guy. Um, what's intriguing is that Facebook would have to get a lot lower to basically bust its uptrend that started in 2011. You know, I, I, I ha happen to have one up on Tiger TV right now. And, like, you know, bottom line is that the last time we came down, we came down from 195. And by the end of the next month, you're at 159. So it's pretty intriguing. I mean, this is quite an uptrend. When you go from 160 to almost 220, right? Yeah, yes. you're going to have some, some area yeah. to pull back before you hit those. If you think about it, guys. All we really did was go back to what? February? Right. Yeah. To the chart? Right. That's what I, it was just right. such a remarkable run. I mean, we were talking about it, Kevin, this week, even the run that it had off those lows and how Facebook right. was now 10% above the highs it had before right. dealing with any privacy woes. It's right. like, that's amazing. And, and sure enough, it came to fruition yeah. um, last night. That's got to be. Hey, we'll see where it shakes out. If we go over to the end. Oh, sorry, guy, Kevin. It's it's still going to cause some people to pause, though. Oh, yeah. Listen, man. Oh, well, listen. I, I, if you, you, you're down 18% in a day, that's pretty intense. Yeah. And they disappointed yeah. on, was it daily active users, monthly yes. active? I mean, that's, that's, that's what is going to drive that company, people going there on a daily and a monthly basis. And the real question yeah. is, they're at such high numbers, which we've talked about before. Yeah. Like, uh, 
exponentially, you, you, you know, what, are you going to have the whole world? That's a, a, there's only <laughs> so many billion people in the world. When you exactly. have two and a half billion every month, you, yeah. you're kind of reaching, you know, right. diminishing right. returns in terms of right. growth. But you For, can't be shrinking, though, right? And no. That's, yeah. Right. And that, you well, know, I'm telling a, you, man. The question that, that bulls have in this stock, Tommy, Tommy is when are they going to monetize Instagram? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That is such a big question looming over this stock. Yeah. Oh, there's no doubt, man. You know, and hey, listen, let's let's go on to Amazon because bottom yeah. line is that you know when you look at Amazon, it's like okay, Facebook took Amazon down 35 bucks this morning. Yeah. Um, you know, 35 dollars for an 1800 stock is, is nothing. I mean, the, the reality has already come back 10 bucks. And I think of all the technology stocks, Amazon's nothing like Facebook in terms of no. what they're going to face when it comes to earnings and, and woes of privacy. It's just not people don't associate the same way. Even though, can you imagine the amount of data that Amazon has on us oh. with Alexa? But it's not quite the same in my head for some reason. I, I you know, right. I, I, it's amusing how they've gotten away with sneaking out of that debate. Well, yeah, you, you know. The, there's only two real stocks, I think, in my mind, that compare to Amazon, and that is, well, number one, I think Walmart, and the other, two, the other one is Costco. Sure, yeah. Their membership be much like Amazon has. You know, both in a, in a little different ways, but yeah, I don't think there's any correlation between. Uh, or very little at Facebook and Amazon. I just don't see it. Because I was thinking about it this morning, and make a great point, Kevin, as in Walmart's not going to disappear overnight. You even see in the face of what they're facing in technology-wise, they're going to be the ones that might be able to compete. So, right. face, you know, Amazon has so much warehouse, so much infrastructure built, and Facebook does too, but right. they're just an online platform. Yes. And if people really get alienated from an online platform, right. everything they have behind it in infrastructure is is not worth what it's worth, as opposed to when you're just selling the world every item they need on a daily right. basis. That's not going to disappear. And they, let alone everything else Amazon's digging into, healthcare and And, and you can sell them more. And, right. Yeah, exactly. Telling yeah, I you. think really the, the, the theme out of that conference call was really how they're focused on protecting people and protecting your data and, you know, doing so many things to safeguard the, uh, the platform. I think they really went, you know, they, they made an effort to really hammer that home. You know, there's, there's no doubt. I mean, it's, it's not going to get me back on Facebook, but the bottom line is, is that 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 is a, a big concern. There's no doubt. And I guess the, the biggest concern, but they seem to shake that off, is that, you know, what will governments do over the course of time? You know, with, I think with, it's going to be a short time. Frame, yeah, well, that, especially that, the political deal. That, that's the that's the big deal, right? I mean, yeah. that's that's the right. big deal. Pretty wild, man. I, I've always said, companies like Facebook and Amazon, who can really do the most damage to them? Government. Oh yeah. And you see, in this case with Facebook, they just let things run rampant on political deal oh, in for terms sure. of. Um, so they, I think Zuckerberg intelligently so realizes this is a, a big moment in time to make yeah. sure he reels it back in. Because they can't have another year or two in the next election time where this happens and they're just in negative press left and right. Right. So he realizes, like, wrap it up for a year or two, get things in order, and then yeah. start printing money again, probably. But investors, a year or two, no, nobody wants to wait. Oh, <laughs> a year or two. Not, not, not in these markets. Right. Uh, no. Uh. It's pretty amazing. They said Instagram's probably worth $100 billion, right? That article came out recently. That's what Facebook just lost overnight. So it was like them losing a property. That's how much value disappeared from their market cap. Puff. Like, how Pretty it, it went to, to investment heaven. It did, yeah. <laughs> right here, folks, 45 minutes from now, fast market. Uh, Kevin, Tom, okay, great program. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one, have a great weekend. Thanks for having me on, guys. Have a great weekend. Thank Thanks, you. Kevin. Stay right there, Tommy. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24 7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up to the date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now, uh, down up. Rather, 137. NASDAQ is down 67. S&P is a flat. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities. We had a lot of earnings last night. We man. do. And it's just interesting, as you say, up, down. Uh, we haven't had a day in a while where we have one index down, you know, more than half a percent and the right. other index, the reverse, more than half a percent. You know, I just... Uh, no, no, no doubt. Earnings will do that, yeah. of course, as no you doubt. get some, some price weighted, whatever it is, right? Yeah. So if we go inside the Dow, let's go inside the Dow first, take a look at the strength versus the weakness. Uh, strength out here is <laughs> Boeing. <laughs> yeah. Boeing 18 points, United Health 18, 3M 16. Taken away from it is Big Mac. McDonald's yeah. 21, Visa 10. McDonald's had earnings today, I believe. We can yes, jump they into did. them. Down yep. 2%. Chevron, so that's down uh, $3.20. And there it is. So. Ah, comp sales. That's a big one. Yeah. As in disappointing a comp sales. They expected 3%. They got 2.6. You know what's amazing, though? Even a 2.6 for a company that big is still pretty cool. It I mean, is great. Yeah. But what's happening is is they're factoring in 3% on the price of that I share. Know. And that's factoring in earnings per share. So it's the, you know, as yep. in, right, I agree. Um, because yep. they beat on revenue. They beat on earnings per share. And they're growing the oh, same sorry. store. No, you're just at yep. 2.6. I mean, it's, you know, great numbers. And Man, if you're a public company, you better never never not grow. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> now, on the index 100, here you go. So, Xilinx uh, is trading up 11%. Qualcomm's up 4%. Uh, taken away from it is Big Facebook. Facebook's down 19%. Uh, it's going to be Big Blue now. It's Big Facebook. Is that yeah. what it is? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Biogen's down. Uh, that's a big one. Biogen's down 9%. What's interesting about the Biogen is that this is actually, you know, this is all about that Alzheimer's uh, drug. Okay. And so last night it was like a disclosure by, by someone else that, so it, it had popped up uh, on the 5th. Uh, yes, it is, of on, July. Of July. It went from 295. Yeah. Went up to 367. Yeah, so on it the, opens on the 6th, yeah, basically. Right, right. On the test. Yes. Uh, on, on the test like, of what? the Alzheimer's okay. disease. Okay. What came out last night was that the first test of that drug didn't come out like the second test and they did they they didn't okay. back test it the second time but what they did do is that they changed the uh, parameters inside the test okay and so when that came out uh, I was on the air and that basically bottom line hit the the uh, biogen pretty quick 
Yeah. You know. Man, so that's, yeah, I'm just trying to read it. You yeah. know, it doesn't, it just says that the, you know, a presentation on their new Alzheimer's disease drug synthesis plunging and muddied any read across to the company's potential blockbuster yeah, in I that think, drug. I think what they had to do is they had to disclose the, how they changed the test. Okay. That's, that's what seems to be the thing. So, you know, it's like, okay, the first one didn't come out right. Uh, it didn't come out as positive as the second one, and the second one, it's like, okay, it's just like you're doing charts. If you back test them, you can basically push, you can go backwards almost into, any, into anything. Right. You right. Know, yes. Yeah. No, I, yes, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Pretty remarkable. So, natural gas, right? Yeah. So, it's Thursday. We get natural gas EIA numbers at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We'll jump over here to the Nadex platform. I was jumping around playing with these prior during our commercial break. Here is the natural gas contract. We're looking at September. Got a little bit of volatility this yeah. morning already. Spiking Three up cents, to, right? Yeah, 270, is it 278? Uh, 277, eight we got to. We're back down to just above 275. So what we're gonna look at here is setting up potentially a volatility trade with bullish and bearish exposure, right? So I'm gonna minimize that for a moment. I pulled up initially the 11 a.m. expiration spreads, all right? So we're, we have, what's nice here is that natural gas trading, and as we even speak, navigating right back to that 275 price point, and we're gonna have the ability to buy a bullish spread, which begins at 275 up to 295. That one we're gonna be paying about $8, all right? We're slightly out of the money there. Ah, uh, no, no, we are in the money, excuse me. Yep. yep. And um, we have barely some intrinsic value. And what's nice on the flip side, vice versa, because this contract is right at 275. Here's that. our bearish spread. It's going to be very similar to the seven, eight, except this one costs us seven because we're slightly out of the money versus being slightly in the money. So you're talking about only $15. And this is where, if you follow That's, the program, you've watched these as we yeah. you know, do them every week for oil on Wednesdays, natural gas. It's always nice when it lines up where the it indicative, is. the underneath, the underlying, whether it's natural gas, crude oil, is right where these line up. So you can see on the 11s. It's only a penny and a half. A penny and a half. So you'd need either 276.5 or 273.5. And we've had three penny moves so far. Yeah, today. we already had one up and down yeah. um, today. So those are the 11 AMs. Let's see how the noons price out with that in mind. So the noons have exact same pricing structure, which is nice. 275 again. Here would be our bullish spread. This one now costing you $10. You're gaining that extra hour. Yeah. And on the flip side, 10 and 8 instead Still of nice. 7 and 8, right? Wow. Uh, yeah, so you're talking about $18. Throw in some commissions. You need two pennies. Right. And you have till noon from 275, 273, or 277. Two pennies on either side becomes your break even. And uh, that number comes out at 1030. And we'll see what happens. I jumped to the, the reason why I didn't bring up the 230s. They don't line up as well. You'd have to be at 280 there okay. to have the ability. Um, to trade that. Now, just jumping around in terms of, again, you know, huge action, you can always, this is like right in the middle of the market in terms of just, just having a directional play, buying it basically at future. They have, you know, this is a 40 cent natural gas spread when you go into the dailies. Right. So it's basically like a futures contract sure. because you have exposure realistically 15 cents down which is a realistic amount that as in it's going to encompass any daily move right so it's a futures contract until 230 that you're getting in basically right at market we're trading at 275 one that's pretty cool and it's you know bid offer spread right around there because if you were trading the futures folks there's no way you'd want to trade the futures when you can buy it at the exact same price if you're day trading the futures that is okay and because you're it's, talking a, about it's a replacement, yeah. yeah. And you're talking about the yeah, defined, defined risk, risk exactly, Huge. leading up to an inventory number right. that's probably going to jump this around one way or the other right. in literally five minutes from yeah. right now. So let's go look at that contract. Let's okay. see what we got here. So uh, September contract we're dealing with, Correct. right? So let's see what we got here. Natural gas or two. So that's it's, August it's, in there, I believe, and that's oh, just okay. the slight difference. Okay. So they haven't quite rolled the automated Bloomberg. Boy, this is uh, this was quite a downdraft. Holy cow! We'll talk to our man Jason Paff. I know you talked to yeah. him Thursday afternoons. Yeah. You'll have to talk to him about whatever we see happening in five minutes with those numbers, Look at because that. as he was talking about it, man, it is just a tough, tough market it right is. now for natural gas. Look at that. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a one-way trade. Three dollars right down. You know, last week we hit that uh, two seventy-four. Yes. And we get some volume there, man. Okay, yeah. this is, you're going to get some volatility. It looks like we're going to get some volatility. And folks, if you haven't test driven yet the uh, Nadex platform, uh, just get out there, hit the, the banner at TFNN, bring it up so you can get used to how these spreads work. Um, you know, because the, the, the volatility, uh, what you also have. Now, last night at the close, we were talking about volatility, 
And yesterday morning we were talking about you had a chance to do a volatility trade inside the uh, NDX 100 at the close yesterday because the futures closed at 415. Sure. Facebook was coming out. But what did happen is this. I wanted to go do one and I went over there. And what happened, folks, is this is that because the Trump made a deal with the Europeans yes. right into the close, what happened when the market went up, there was nothing, they were all out of the money. Okay, so there was some, yeah, you yes. were, um, you know, yeah. so the, you gotta keep that in mind. That's another reason to have that, that uh, demo. Yes. Now today, the same thing will happen. Well, I don't know, meaning the, you may be able to do it with Amazon. Yeah, we're up. gonna get Amazon earnings right, right after the bell. Right. That's gonna move the markets before the 415 it, close exactly. of the futures. Which, yeah. which and it moved, you know, the NDX, if if the contracts were there, if it hadn't moved so much, it, they went down 54 bucks, 54 oh, points. Yeah. So it was there. It was huge. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. We get the Dow up 130. Nasdaq's down 72. S&Ps are down one. Come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then and head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow up 115, Nasdaq's down 72, S&Ps are up two and a half. Natural gas, what do we have there? There we go. So we have natural gas stockpiles rising 24 billion cubic feet. We'll get the estimates in a moment, but to jump back to the chart and see how we're reacting. So you have natural gas spiking higher. We were give or take right at 275, right? We're spiking, call it 277 currently. Okay. So immediately, if you had, uh, we'll jump back to the noon trades. 
as in noon expiration. Remember, we needed somewhere between about a penny and a half and two, two. pennies of movement, and now we're already over two pennies of movement away. Your, your value there would be in the bullish spread from 275 up to 295, and there's your bullish spread, and if you'd be you know, selling out of that right now, you have about $20 in value, give or take. So that would be your, your at break even, as we so, talked about. Yep. Um, on the noon, it was a little bit less on the 11s. You'd right. be in a profitable position. But a little bit of spike. It's, it's what you'd like to see if you'd made a volatility trade initially. And I'm not sure exactly what uh, the estimate was on the numbers. We'll pull it back. So there we go. So we had a rise of 24. They were looking for more oil than that. They were looking for a stockpile rise of 50, 35, of 35 billion cubic feet. And uh, to jump into some of that data across the board, across where it's spread out, East, Midwest, Mountain Pacific, South Central, all of them um, showing a build. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, all of them showing a build. I guess they break it down week by week. But regardless, 24 billion cubic feet, I believe that's when you add all of those up. That's what we're reaching. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. So we're at, uh, what, July 26th, right? I Correct. Would, I wonder how long this build goes on for, like what, what the market expects, whether it's yeah. like into August, and I guess it depends when it starts getting colder up north, yeah. right, on yes. the Midwest. Yeah. 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 So we'll check back in a couple minutes after the news, but natural gas hanging above 277. And that, you know, and what does happen there, folks, is that and that's what, you know, the, the closer it is right to that number, the more probability I think those trades are, meaning that you're, so, not, you're, you're, not so paying, closer, you're not paying for the intrinsic value, right? Right. So, for instance, that trade we're looking at, when you have natural gas trading at 275 and you have the spreads going from 275 to 295 right. and 275 to 255, you're not paying for any intrinsic value. And that's Pretty where cool. it just keeps your cost down. Right because you really don't want to be paying for intrinsic value if you're no. making a volatility play where you just want a pop one way or the other. Right. Because any amount you're paying in intrinsic value too, the trade begins to lean that way. Yes. Right? You know, when yes. you pay it to the bullish side, right. well, if you want to make a profit and you go negative, you have to make up that yeah. plus whatever. Yeah, you're you making a decision bullish or bearish versus volatility. Yeah, basically. it's taking on yeah. a little bit of a head start in that yeah. direction. So let's go over and take a look at the euro. So uh, you had Draghi out here today. Uh, they, you know, kept interest rates um, the same. Yes. Uh, the, they're keeping them the same, right? Through the summer of 2019. Yeah, they're keeping them the same. Um, let's see. Uh, it really didn't, you know, it, it moved it around a little. I guess the market was just expecting this. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah I mean, they. I think that they laid out pretty much everything he had said the last time that they had a press conference. Yeah. And yeah. I think the only surprise would have been, as we do get some action there, but would, would have been deviating from that, which, is, which did right. not happen. Right, right. You know, in terms of definitely any drastic change after saying so concretely that rates would stay the unchanged, same. Yeah. Um, that would startle things, but that didn't happen at all. And what he did say, you know, I guess he, he probably said, said it before, that the bottom line is that they're going to start tightening up in December. Okay. You know? uh, we had a couple of gold numbers come out. We had, uh, I believe, Newmont come out with numbers. Newmont right now is trading up 39 cents. Um, they did. See. It looks like 7 a.m. this morning yeah. they came out Look, with them. That's, that's a nice expansion up. Let's see, yes. what, let's see what they're having to say out here. Um, oh, that's interesting. No, no, they buy Nova Gold. Ah, uh, they they bought, Creek. yeah. So Newmont's going to buy uh, a fifty percent stake in Galore Creek. Yeah, they they had been a fifty percent pro, uh, partner. Newmont will also form uh, form a partnership with Teak Resources, which tech, owns yeah Tech Resources, the, uh, Tech, which owns the remaining fifty percent. So Nova, let's go see what Nova. Okay, so I don't think Newmont did own fifty percent. If they're buying Nova Gold's stake in it, and then yeah. they're going to also form the partnership with the other fifty percent okay. stakeholder. Yeah. So Nova didn't get a pop on that. Okay, I believe uh, Barrick may have come out with numbers too. ABX that's down fifty cents. So that's that's serious business. I'm not sure for they eleven dollar stock. Say. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, so they yeah. come out with numbers. Uh, the estimate was. So look at this one. The estimate was twelve cents. They come out with seven. That's they missed on revenue. Look at their miss. You're talking about a hundred yeah. billion, a hundred million. Excuse me, yeah. miss. Uh, 1.7 versus 1.8. That's a yeah, big that's miss a percentage big, wise. That's a big miss. Now that so you have uh, the the high volume law here. Right there. 11.07. We hit 11.19. 
Well, we'll see whether that baby can hold. But thus far, it has. Uh, an eco eagle come out, AEM come out with numbers. And what the gold equities do do, folks, is that, ooh, this is getting slammed, 230. That's not good. Let's see what they have to say. So this is going after, that swing point is 41.13. Let's see what they have to say. Earnings per share. Oh, look at that miss. Holy cow. Where are you, sir? Right uh, there. Okay, eight, yeah. Eight cents, they come in with one. Yeah. Okay, let's see what and they have to say. And what's intriguing, too. Okay, oh. yeah. Go ahead. No, no, just digging into so, the numbers, right? I was just going to point out that they yeah. actually took in more revenue on that type of an earnings miss, which wow. is not good. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they see full-year production, 1.58 million ounces. They're going to spend a billion dollars. Revenue was good revenue, man, but something's wrong in here. Company total cash costs to trend lower in the second half of the year. There's something in there that uh, the market's not digging, that's for sure. Uh, that's Taking in more money and not making the kind of money you're supposed to make. Seriously, Where's man. Where's it going? What's you happening? Know, yep. <laughs> and, you know, we'll see if that's, uh, if you dig into that and see if that is the energy. So if we go over to the GDX, what you're going to see here, that's where, you know, Newmont is the largest weighting structure. Um, and Newmont is saving the GDX right now because Barrick is is uh, the second largest. And I think an Eagle, an Eagle Eagle is right up there. Yeah, Nico Eagle yeah. is, uh, what, fifth, sixth? Yeah, that's a solid 5%. Yeah, yeah Barrick's 6.8, yeah. Newmont 9.8. Yeah. Newmont almost 10% of it, which will, you know, that, that's, that's going to really equal almost, it. yeah, right. combined still almost equal Barrick and Nico. Yeah. Pretty wild, man. I'm telling you. Let's check back on those natural gas yeah. numbers. It's only been a few minutes, but a few minutes can be a lifetime sometimes. Now, hanging out 277 currently, but not a bad price. If you made no. that trade, you're still hanging right, right. at um, basically break even. And, you know, we talk about it. You'd have options here, as in if you're bullish, you could always get into the bullish position, sell that, lock in a break even, right. and then you'd have until noon for the price of natural gas to drop anywhere below 275 because your bearish spread would still retain value and still it remains totally. open, even though it's slightly out of the money. Um, even at 277 right now, you'd still be able to grab $2 off of that uh, if you wanted. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just $2. pointing out. You That's know, pretty I, cool. Well, yeah. I could see that it was trading at 274.8. Yeah. Okay. I knew that right. that was going to be the ticket right. where the market is. And uh, in fairness, there's only one contract right now bid there because even that is a pretty good value, actually, when you're two pennies full out of the money. Right. Anyway. And when you see something like that, folks, with one contract, that's going to be basically not the market maker. That's gonna, yes. You can be the market in here, which yes. is really cool to understand also. I agree. You know so I mean? right here, like this one, you can see there's probably a couple market makers, as in the 20 yep. by 20, the 5 by 5. Right. But then when you get into single, double, that's just yep. where, you know, retail investors, probably exactly. retail traders uh, yep. in there mm, becoming the bid and the offer. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now. Um, up 147, NASDAQ down 69. Come back with our man, Mr. Jack Gleason. You got it. It's Major League Trading. We'll be right Major back. Major League Trading. Here we come. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities.
Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 145. You get the Nasdaq down 69. S&Ps are flat. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Gleason at Major League Trading, as we do each and every Thursday at 40 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, you can go uh, right over to MajorLeagueTrading.com, see Jack's work, great work. Also, can come to our website at TFNN, hit Nadex News. Jack's over there writing all the time. And we get two dynamite charts out here, man. We got the <laughs> Russell and we got the Nasdaq. Jack yep. Gleason, what's happening, brother? Not, mu uh, not much. Just before we get started, D. Russell, I sent you an updated chart because, of course, it rallied four points since I sent that chart, you know, 20 minutes ago. It's but too anyway, funny. I pulled so it I up in the... another email over to you. I, well, I'm going to pull it up right now, Jack, and I was just laughing because I pulled up that Ru Russell chart, the live one, and I said, man, what's a Russell doing just at yeah. home during the break? Quite a run. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the reason I brought up that because I thought it was going to be a really strong market today it was too strong and I had to readjust my uh, my sequence because I wanted to bring an intraday trade here to the table today and then I'll talk about a couple other things. But yesterday, man, I missed all of the action. I was out fishing on Lake, salmon fishing on Lake Michigan, so I missed a good day yesterday, but I'm back at it today. That's all right. Did you get some salmon? Yeah, so I caught 10 coho salmon, one lake trout. I got the place sitting in my fridge. That's so I'm cool. Tonight. Yeah. So how no. long does the run stay up there? Um, the So it, it, it's like year-round. So, you know. Oh, most, is it? Oh, that's on, wild. Wow. Yeah, that's most people cool. don't know. Like Lake Mi Lake Michigan, has, it's, it's known for its salmon fishing. There really isn't like, you know, really walleye fish in it. I mean, you can up in the bay. That's great, man. Constantly. When are you going salmon fishing? With I know. Get out there. I know. We've oh. been salmon. He took me salmon. He took you know, me and my the sister king eye. to yeah. Alaska and did some king oh, salmon fishing. We got, we got pitches. They're this big, man. So, Monsters. So yeah, he's, he's yeah, in this. They, they get big up there. They get a little bigger in the ocean, but it's still a boatload of fun. Oh, no, it, it's I huge. Bet. It's huge. No, totally. Okay. So we got your updated Russell chart up here, Jack. Okay, cool. So we got the new one. So what I'm looking for in the overnight session, obviously the Russell, you know, it's up 13 points here today. Really strong market. This is an intraday trade I'm looking. And when I say intraday, it, you know, assume uh, these levels are based on assuming we don't make a new high. Yes. Uh, so they're, they're probably a little different than what you got on screen, but not too bad. The pullback into 1697 to 1695.2, that is going, that's an extension. So a high to high sequence. I'm looking at this sequence from that same high that begins in the Russell at uh, 1685.8 before the breakout into the end of the day we've pulled back in the overnight session and held the same percentage retracement so my anticipation is what I call a same anchor new high sequence and right now I'm looking for a pullback maybe it happens today it could be tomorrow on Friday into the 1697.4 to 1695.2 level now we obviously have some uh, relatively relative strength here in the Russell. It's been the weaker market. It was the weaker market yesterday, but a lot of times 
when the rest of these markets are up at highs, sooner or later that, that lagger becomes a leader. And the Russell, I think, is doing that here today. We're seeing that. So I want to buy that first pullback when we can get it right now. I need to see a sell-off of roughly seven points to become interested okay. in going long. So that's my setup for the Russell. And, and then higher time frame targets, because we had pretty much a, a double bottom here, which we didn't get. We retested it was two weeks, or it was a week ago on the 16th of July. We retested those lows yesterday and Tuesday of this week. That upside target, 1734. So ideally, I'd like to get in this trade either today or tomorrow. I'll probably scalp some out during the same day, but look for a continuation up into 1734 as the rest of these markets stay strong into their earnings seasons. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, because Tuesday the Russell got slammed with volume, but yesterday I rejected lower yeah. price, man. You know, just went in there and said, hey, man, I don't want to hang out here, you know? Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, the NASDAQ, we got action yeah. over there, that's for sure. Holy cow. And we got yes. Amazon coming out after the close, right? Amazon after the close is right. So, you know, Facebook obviously drove it down, uh, you know, in the overnight session on their terrible uh, earnings. But um, so I have a high to high sequence here. Okay. And that's that larger draw. That targeted 75.20. I've had that on my screen as a target since the 25th of June. And we hit that going into app or Facebook's earnings event. So you can see that 7520 half level was pretty much you know within a 10 points in the Nasdaq which on a 100 point day isn't much. Sure. Um, so we hit that target Facebook earnings come out, we get slaughtered back. Ideally, I'd like to see another same anchoring high sequence and that's where I have that green zone on your I believe, I believe it's on your screen. Yes, it's it is. Yes, we got right it. At it. Yep. Totally. That level is 7365. I would look at 7365 to 7370. We'll see if that trades um, in the overnight session off Amazon. But if we can get down there, I'm actually going to be looking to take a weekly Nadex position at that level, expecting us to close above. So you can see that's also really the consolidation area of Thursday, Friday last week. It lines up with my FIB zones. I like to see my FIB zones line up with just visual support and resistance that any trader could look at. Um, because people do look at that stuff. Uh, and so I just try to line it up like that. So that 7370, 7365 zone is where I'm going to be looking in the NASDAQ. And, you know, things have been such a beast, all time highs, you know, just the other day. So continue to want to trade the long side in that market. There's no doubt it's a beast. And as Jack's saying that, folks, okay, what he's doing there, which is pretty cool, is that he's taking the Fibonacci level. He's doing, he's basically he's taking the support level. He says he wants confluence in between that. Definitely. And there's no doubt, because then you get, you're get back against the wall also, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's exactly where you want to be. If, you know, it's, trade location is extremely important to me, as it is to pretty much most traders. Um, and, and that level right there where I can have, you know, my Fibonacci sequences, levels of previous demand, regardless of whatever the earnings event is, I want to buy there. I don't care how terrible or how good. Um, it might not trade. If, it, if it's a great earnings event, we can just go straight up through the prior day high. But right now, that's my trade location I'm anticipating. And uh, maybe the Russell will trade on that. Who knows? But uh, I'm still looking for both of those trades to set up. Hopefully, uh, NASDAQ wouldn't be most likely to laugh at the bell unless we have a breakdown intraday. Sure. Uh, but Russell could definitely happen today. So keep an eye on that one. And, and what's nice about what Jack does, folks, okay, it's always cool. And that's what's so cool about Fibonacci. You have the numbers before the fact. So you can get set up for it. And as you just said, well, you're going to go for it because the bottom line is that that's the number you're looking for. You know? Right. Jack. You know, which clarity is nice, right? You don't kind of get confused and, and battle in your own mind about where you're strong in your position or where you're not. I mean, you have your battle lines drawn. I mean, literally drawn, right? And they line up well, right. and then you're all set. You have a plan. You know, and you know that news moves the market. Oof. And in this market, every I mean, how is about, that true today? How about coming into that close? Serious? How about that coming into the close yesterday? Oh, you were, you were catching salmon, <laughs> but coming into the close <laughs> yesterday, Jack, was amazing. Yeah, that yeah. rally on the uh, yeah. the European trade, right? right. And then, right. boom, surprise Facebook, right. NASDAQ, quite a number. Yeah. Well, I always keep the news printed out on my desk, you know, so every, every <laughs> week, it's news, but uh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's Stay a, on top of it, guys. Right? You got to, man. You got to, for sure. There's no doubt. And listen, folks, okay, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see uh, Nate X News right there. Jack is always over there writing. Great writing. Fibonacci. Of course, you can listen to him uh, every uh, Thursday here at 40 past the hour. 
Uh, his website is MajorLeagueTrading.com, and we're right in the middle of. And of course, he's from Chicago. The Cubs, man! Holy cow! What is what, what a record they got, man! I was looking at that the other night. They got themselves a record, man. Great team, great city. Totally. Listen, man, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Look forward to speaking to you next Thursday, Jack. Hey, take care, guys. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Coming right back with some more natural gas numbers for you. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now up 152. Nasdaq's down 64. S&Ps are up uh, one and a half. Uh, gold, gold's down 560. We got uh, King Dollar up by 291. And um, that's our gas. One more check. Yeah. Rounding out the almost 11 a.m. and 277.15. So just above 277. Right. Not bad, as in that's where it's nice. It works out. We're trading around 275. You needed about two pennies to begin to break even. That was including on the new. Right. right, it was eighteen dollars right. total. Right, um, but if you're adding a dollar per, if you want, you know, two pennies get you fully there, and we're above that level currently. And you have over a full hour left for those noons, so you, noons. Can, you can let both sides of it ride. As in that way, if you catch any exposure, you could always close out the bullish trade, lock in your break even, and look for a decline or see what happens. But yep. decent move. Let's go. I want to just look at uh, oil from yesterday. Oh, uh, 
boy. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because what happened is that you, you know, know we had some volatility. That, we had man. that volatility out there. I like the natural gas trade, but it is not keeping up, in my opinion, with what the oh, oil, oil trade has been given out on Wednesdays. Seriously, look at this. So, so yeah, there it is. Oh my God. Can I see? So, I'm just yeah. gonna zoom in yeah. a little bit. Let's uh, take that. That Go is there. intense. Um, yeah. So we spiked to a high of 69.37 on yep. the news. We came back down to 68.20. At 10 minutes at 11. And then took off. By, and by noon, by oh my noon, God, look at that. That's what How cool is 69. that? 69.70. That's pretty so cool. prior to that number coming in, we were trading at, uh, where are we? The close of this bar, I believe it's going to be. So 68.88. And we end up closing out the noon. Of, what was 90 cents. Higher, right? Yeah, yeah, let alone those lows, right? Big number. Big number. Big number. And of course, uh, Stay right there, folks. we got Fast Market coming up with our TD Ameritrade. Then we're going to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon uh, with those Amazon numbers. Thanks, pal. Amazon taking over the world. Amazon taking over the world. We'll see if that falls apart or it goes I with don't, Facebook. I don't expect. This no, is my market bias, I, but I, I don't expect Amazon I'm, to be falling apart 20% this afternoon. Yeah, seriously, seriously. 18%. Stay right there, folks. Uh, Fast Market's coming up next. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Wow! Look at them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.